Today I effed up by getting a DNA test and finding out Granny got stuffed by another man's meat. You know, some some people be uh, butchering up a nice slab of meat. Hey, you know what you I know, mean. Each salami needs to find a, a new salami cave to, That's right. to hide in <laughs> for the salami winter. Cave. A salami cave. <laughs> Can we please use that as our new like censored <laughs> yes, word? <laughs> salami cave. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about Grandma's salami cave. All right. Yeah. All righty then. So I've always been interested in doing one of those at home kits that tell your ethnicity estimates. First mistake. Never do that. If you want to have a peaceful family. That's right. Yeah. If we've learned anything <laughs> learned on this show. Everything. My mother has for many years claimed that her own great grandmother was completely and utterly Native American. And I recently learned that this is apparently something common for Southerners to claim. But it is rarely true. Is that true? That is that is true. Oh, like they'll be like, I'm one eighth Cherokee. Yes, I uh, same and, thing. But, but John is actually same thing in Cherokee. my family. Um, the one thing I will say is we do have photographs of my great grandmother who seems Native American. But did you, did you get tested? Oh no, I haven't. Been. I I need I need to get the test. Yeah, I want to see how how I'll do the test and then we'll, then we'll make some. Uh, are you Cherokee? Like what? What's the? Uh, yeah. I, uh, you know what? I shouldn't even say because I can't even remember. But I, I, I'm at this point. It's like my great grandmother. So I'm like, she was either, maybe she was half or full. I can't even remember. But I'm like a hundred. You know what is it? Sixty fourth or one thirty second or something like that. Huh? It's not a lot. Wow. It's not a lot. Do we have to? <laughs> 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 when Sam doesn't say it, you know it was bad. Well, all right. Well, actually, no. I have a question. Mm-hmm. What percentage do you have to be to have like, you know, like one of like, like a renaming, you know, like to be like, like, in... like little Bigfoot or something like that. Hmm. That's a great question. Is I like one sixty fourth the cutoff here. Here's here's all I know. I pull up to the tribe. They're <laughs> like, nah, nah, that's that. That's what I know. <laughs> they're like you. No, no way. Nah, have you seen um uh Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt? Uh, I I have seen that and like an episode and see the whole thing. The um Jenna from Thirty Rock, have you seen that? She like the whitest blonde, blue eyed chick you've ever seen. The whole storyline is she's like secretly Native American, (laughs) secret Native American hiding among us. That's John. That's me. I finally went ahead and bought one of those kits because there's nothing I enjoy more than proving my mother wrong. Oh yeah. Fast forward a few weeks, I get my results. And I learn that I am, in fact, 0% Native American. Zero? Zero percent, which isn't exactly shocking. But the real surprise comes from the fact that I'm also 0% Eastern European. Hmm. This probably wouldn't mean much for most people, but I happen to be Polish. Or at least that's what I thought. I have a very unpronounceable, very Polish last name. My great-grandparents were Polish-speaking immigrants, and my paternal grandfather himself spoke Polish as a child. What's up with grandpappy's Polish sausage? <laughs> Polish sausage. <laughs> hey, it's Polish and it's his sausage. My first thought was that the test must have made a mistake. The test never oh, makes a mistake. It's, it's always the test. My results came over a week before the projected arrival date. And I knew I should be somewhere around 25% Polish Eastern European. So maybe there was some error somewhere at the lab. So I started digging around through my DNA relative matches. I had matched with an extended cousin with my mom's maiden name living in the state that she grew up in. So the DNA analyzed was definitely mine. And this wasn't a switch tube situation. There were only two possible explanations. Either my own dad was not my biological father. Uh Uh-oh. Or my Polish grandfather was not the biological father of my dad. So someone done effed up in mm-hmm. the family tree. Somebody's sausage cave got invaded. <laughs> Foreign sausage alert. <laughs> oh, my God. I look a lot like my father, so it seemed unlikely that we were not related. However, there was no strong family resemblance between my dad and his own father. So fucked. Mm. In fact, my grandfather and many of his siblings had a, we'll call it, striking nose that my sister and I often rejoiced in not inheriting. Also, my paternal grandparents had a disastrous marriage and a bitter divorce. An affair did not seem out of the question. Hmm. So there's something hiding underneath this family blanket. Something's going on over here. My paternal grandfather died over 10 years ago, 
but my paternal grandmother is still living, and I gave her a quick little call. Oh, what you got to say, Granny? Granny, explain yourself. It took a while for me fully to explain the DNA testing to her because she's 87 and she doesn't understand these new vangle devices, but eventually we got there. She denied it and tried to explain the unexpected results with a long ramble about migrating European tribes before I was finally able to make her understand that I would be able to test relatives from the Polish side of the family and determine whether or not I was actually related to them. Ooh. You know what she said, John? She like, that's probably not a good idea. <laughs> and that I should think about this before contacting anyone and think about what it would do to the family. I should think about it, huh, Granny? Huh. What's, what's, what's the harm if we're all related? Related, yeah, if you're telling the truth. I thought I knew right then, but it wasn't until today, two days later, that she finally admitted to my sister that my father had been lied to his entire life about his biological father. What? Wow. Wow. So who is my actual paternal grandfather? To be decided. My grandmother promised my sister that she will tell the two of us everything when my sister gets in town for Christmas. She requested that we not tell anyone until then, but it's too late. My sister has already told everyone in the family. <sighs> but John, guess what? What? There's an update. Is it the, ne the next link? Yeah. So I, I had that as like a same as we did before, like a follow up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Um, there is an update, but we'll get to that in another part. I found a used condom under my bed, so I kicked my sister out of the house. Am I the a-hole? Um, I don't know. What's your sex policy? You know, uh, hopefully, do I even have to say it? Not with the sister. <laughs> I tried. I, I I gave you the offer to hold me back. Hold me back. I wasn't even sure where you Let were going. Why would it be with the sister? You're like, you're also, like, they're both sisters. It's her sister. Why would they be using a used condom? You're like, how could I possibly read your mind for you? <laughs> well, I, I, I had no idea where you were going. My God. Hold me back. Man needs a brain leash. Oh, I do. Yeah. Lord help me. So, <laughs> some info about me. I am 23 female and I am sex repulsed asexual. However, if someone loves sex, I'm never ever rude to them about it or think bad about them. I'm just repulsed. I am just repulsed. I'm just like, ew. You're just a filthy monster. Disgusting, you sex puppet. <laughs> if they have a healthy sex life and they're happy, then hey. I'm happy for them, too. Nice. Ain't a hater. So on to the problem. My sister, 26 female, came to visit me with her fiance four days ago. OK. They just got engaged two weeks ago, and I am so happy for them. Are you? I think we're going to find out your true I, I, colors. I, yeah, I feel like OP is like, hey, I'm happy for you to be in a romantic relationship. Mm -hmm. But a sexual one? No, no, no. Mm. Ew, ew, ew. How dare gross, you? Gross, gross, gross. My sister knows that I'm asexual and how I feel about sex in general. And I asked her as nicely as I could that they not do anything sexual in my house that I don't want to see or hear anything or if they could just wait until I leave to go to school or work slash gym. That's Goodness. fair. That's fair. You know, hey, just don't have sex. It's so loud that I can hear it. And if yeah. you need to have loud sex, leave. Tell her <laughs> do it when I leave. Or leave to I do guess it. That's fair. It, at first, I couldn't tell. I was like, are you saying like nothing sexual whatsoever? Or I think just sex, sex. It's yeah, it sounds like like yeah, sex sounds. Anything. Yeah. Anything like yeah, any too, moaning or groaning. Too egregious. Yeah. What if there's like, oh, no, we're just working out. Uh, 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 uh. new personal new personal weight new pr uh. <laughs> she agreed and i thought that that was it it's never it with a reddit story you know it's never it however the first night that they were here i woke up to some weird sound and it took me a moment to realize what it was they were working out late night mm -hmm. workout yeah exactly just like get you have to get your reps in you gotta get you your can, reps in you yeah. know what i mean it's it's a busy hectic life it is 
they were having sex <gasps> in the next room. No. And sexual intercourse. Very loudly. Oh, no. That was specifically <laughs> what Opie requested they not do. It was specific. No loud sex. They didn't even close my or their doors. Okay, that's kind of crazy. That's, that's uh, hey, you know, sometimes you're like, you're, you're <laughs> heat, heat of the moment. You forget, you forget the doors are wide open. That's, that's, that's a bit nuts. Now I just put on my headphones and listened to some music. Needless to say, I did not sleep well at I thought all. They were going to say, I was, so I put on some headphones and a stethoscope and listened to it on the wall. What's going on? Is that what I hear? Is that what I think it is? I might not be asexual anymore. <laughs> um, it goes, it goes from an asexual to an Alabama story. Oh God. Do you have any friends that are asexual? I do not know anyone openly that asexual. is asexual. Yeah. Everyone I know loves banging. Yeah, same. I don't know anyone that's asexual. If you, hey, if you're asexual, drop us a note in the comments. <laughs> yeah, yeah. actually, we would love we to wanna, hear. We, want, we do want to hear we from you. We do want to hear. We do want to hear. You have a unique perspective. Yeah, that um, we would love to understand. That's right. Um. And all of this affected me at school and my job the next morning. Now, there were a few more incidents after that when they had sex in the shower and then again at night. They're, they're getting busy. They're getting busy. I mean, salute salute to your to, to, to the love life. They're, they're making it happen. But also, like, maybe make it happen at yeah, I, different... I, I mean, like... Like multiple times a day when your sister <laughs> specifically <laughs> asked you not to have sex. Like that's like a, that seems like a fuck you, dude. Just, yeah. yeah. Let's, let's tone that down. A like bit, you could guys. tone it down for a few days. Y- like, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Keep it to once a day. At go, least go to go to a, a bush in a park at night like a gentleman. Yeah. Okay. Like a mother freaking gentleman. That's right. Um, and the next morning I asked her again, as politely as I could, if they can keep it down and wait until I leave the house. It's really not, not bit. It's not a big, ask. it's not a big ass. Yeah. But yeah, th- saying just don't do it while I'm here. That's very reasonable. Yeah. Exactly. Very reasonable. She smirked, apologized and said it won't happen again and not to worry. Ooh, the smirk. I feel like OP did not like that. <laughs> the smirk. The sp- that's just sex smirk. Yeah. That's just an a-hole move. Um, Anyway, I was cleaning my room this morning and I saw some trash under my bed. So I took it out. And when I saw what it was, I almost threw up. Wait, wait. In OP's room? OP, her own bed. Not the guest bed. Not no. the couch. Her own bed that she sleeps in. Oh. <laughs> it was a used condom. Dude, yikes. Big yikes. No, thank you. Oh, God. I screamed and threw it on the floor and just stood there in shock. So I guess she also pick, picked it up accidentally. That's, oh, no. That's the worst. Like, oh, what's this? Oh, what is Jesus. this gooey substance? Oof, yikes. My sister came to my room to see what was going on. And when she saw it, she looked super surprised and then started effing laughing about it. And she said, oops, sorry, bro. What? Sorry, bro. Oh, OP, OP <laughs> has been so reasonable. Dude, this is not just it. stomping all over. Not it. All over OP. I was mortified and I could feel how I was about to cry. Oh, God. Oh, no, OP. Which is stupid, I know. I asked her if they did it on my bed. Oh, no. That's just so... Uh. I mean, at this point, you have to. Like, yeah. uh, and why they didn't clean up after themselves. <laughs> At the bare minimum, at the bare you know, minimum. at the bare minimum. Um, she looked at me like I was a crazy person and just told me to stop overreacting and that people in a real relationship have sex all the time. Oh, it's just what people do. Okay. Oh. Like, but not in OP's bed. Like, I want to smack you. I'm sorry. Come on. Just that is some, some bad. Like, like, even if OP wasn't asexual, this would still be. A line crossed. Yes. And it's like even worse if she's like sex repulsed, as yeah. she put it. Like, come on. Um, she said how I should stop making being asexual slash gay into my personality and that I need to grow up and that normal men and women are meant to have sex with each other and so on. God. Wow. Just like, 
Dude, just digging the hole, doubling down. Like, how can you not hear yourself? How? How? Wow. This triggered me a lot since a lot of people have rejected me in the past because of my sexuality, which they have 100% right to do so. OP, you give yourself a little bit more grace here. Because, like, bruh, people. OP is so accommodating. So accommodating. And, like, every, every. Everyone is the, I don't even need to finish. Everyone's the a-hole except for OP. I'm I'm calling it right now. Um, Anyway, this is where I could be the a-hole. What? I don't know about that. I told her that this is my house and these are my rules. And if they can't respect it, then they can F off. True. And also that if two grown people can't go with one week without sex, it's very pathetic and sad and they need to learn to control themselves better. I mean, (laughs) that's just hilarious. True. I I feel like OP is being pretty reasonable. Yeah. Uh, She got really upset and started to cry. Her fiance was at a store, so she called him and they left. They messaged me and said I was an a-hole and I salute shamed my sister for being in love and that I need therapy for my problems. Yikes. Dude, the sister is a piece of garbage. Trash. Absolute trash. Like, I, like, OP has been so accommodating and it's like, okay, it's, it would be one thing to have, like, like, have sex on someone's bed and leave the con- a used condom there and then be like not asexual like that's like already a yeah, cross already but then because of op's preferences and that the preferences that she made very known uh this is it's like a double cross it's like it's like egregious also you would think like being op's sister that she would know a little bit about like what her what her experience has mm. been and like her temperaments and just like speaking that way it's like bro are are you literally deaf yeah like this so shit bad is crazy so bad so in other words ap's the a-hole <laughs> op's the a-hole in other words op's the a-hole yep. uh, case closed a-hole's the op 